All right, everyone. Welcome to our daily charting session. Since Thursday ngayon, double header po tayo, no? So if you haven't seen it yet, um, you can watch the weekly market overview through the link in the description box below. Okay? Uh, I highly encourage na you watch that since once a week lang naman siya, para lang hand in hand siya sa mga tinitignan natin on a daily basis. And we can compare kung talaga nga bang nabubuo or naisasatupad yung bigger picture na tinitignan natin or hindi. Alright? So, sa mga hindi pa po nakakaalam what we do here, uh, what we do is we take a look at yung mga trending names and we base that dun sa listahan na binibigay po ng Investagrams. You usually find that on the right-hand side of your screen, no? Or, we take chart request. Uh, usually, it's a mixture of both and today is no different. Uh, halo tayo, although I think mas marami na akong nahalo na, or naisama na sa mga trending names, no? Alright, so let's start with FA. So when we last looked at FA, uh, we were doing a multi-time frame analysis. No? And if you haven't seen that yet, uh, the link to that video will also be in the description box below. Okay? Now, ang nangyari ngayon is nag-break na tayo below nung 90 cent na support. Okay? And we've uh, clawed our way down dito sa 81 cent na area, which is here. Okay? Ito yung previous resistance. Okay, so hindi naagulat na bumalik yung price ngayon doon and nag-act siya as previous support. Now, let me zoom in na from here since napakita ko na yun. So what can we expect from here moving forward? Number one, syempre, it's still possible na mag-range tayo dito sa loob, albeit in a very tight manner. Okay, ang liit lang ng range na to eh, di ba? So we can uh, trade tightly within this small range or baka tumuloy na. Pwede rin na mabasag to altogether breakdown, retest it from underneath, hindi kayanin, then tumuloy. Kung mat mangyari man yon, ang next support natin is around 66 cents. Okay? So, syempre, kapag bullish naman tayo ng FA, ang gusto natin makita, ideally, is number one, ma-reclaim tong 90 cent na area, and number two, mabawi natin tong trend line na to. If mangyari yon, then as I said dun sa um, multi-time frame analysis video natin, meron pa rin tayong resistance around here. So, if we break, pwede tayong mauntog dyan. But it does give us more room to maneuver, to move. No? Kasi pwedeng bumalik tayo within this larger range here. But as is, unfortunately, um, hindi siya gano'n na ikisama. No? Tuloy-tuloy lang yung pag-pullback niya. Tingnan natin kung mag-hold tong support level na to. And then, tingnan natin kung magkakaroon tayo ng bullish reaction from here. Okay, again, if bumigay ito, then baka 66 cents na yung next na support level na mahanap natin. Okay, of course, nothing is set in stone. And syempre, ideally, gusto naman natin lahat talaga tumataas. But unfortunately, minsan meron talaga mga pagkakataon na meron mga hindi gano'n na ikisama. Okay, so ito yung mga hinahanap natin na potential bullish na scenarios, or rather more bullish scenarios para lang ba magkaroon ng konting pagbabago sa structure. Okay, and then na-discuss din natin kung ano yung mga pwedeng bearish scenarios pa na mag-occur. Alright, so next let's check SCC. No? So SCC has been one of the hot names. Tuloy-tuloy, sunod ang lakas, no? ang lakas ng pag-angat niya. Now, ang nangyari, nauntog tayo dito sa support ng 24.8 to 25. Okay, again, always remember, uh, these levels should be considered as areas and not uh, tip perfect or not flock perfect, hindi yung porket nasa 19.48, kailangan nasa 19.48 mismo yung balik, no? So, pagka ganito yung situation, eto, 24.8 to 25 technically, isang malaking resistance na yun. Lalo na yung 25, uh, psychological number pa, no? Which a lot of us uh, tend to value. So, nauntog tayo doon, and then today, nagkaroon tayo ng pullback, but we're still within, essentially, etong range na nandito. ba? Plus, uh, hindi naman siguro na agulat given how fast it moved kung magkaroon tayo ng pullback. Now, saan yung mga possible na pullback? Uh, one of the ways na pwede nating mas i-assess for confluence is maglagay tayo ng FIB levels. no? So, sa FIB levels, you go to the swing low, then target the swing high. Okay? Kung gusto nyo yung body to body, pwede rin naman. Okay? Medyo similar naman. So, pag ganito, what we're looking at possibly is either mag-range lang tayo dito, or maybe we can pull back dito sa 38.2% na area, which incidentally, may confluence dito sa resistance na binasag that could turn into support kung bumalik man ang price. So, around 22.4 to 22.6 na area, no? 
or kung mas mabasag pa yan, then what we might be looking for is in the short term, quick bounce trades muna as this tries to recover and decide kung talaga nga bang gusto niya i-continue yung move kasi medyo nagkaigi na ulit yung China and Australia sa pagbili ng coal eh, no? so baka maka-apekto yun dito so kung mag pullback tayo lumalim pa dito sa 61.8 then maybe what we might be looking for is a quick bounce move from there then we can reassess kung umoke yun, ah o sige tutuloy ba hindi or whatever okay mahirap eh so yun yung mga tinitingnan natin scenarios no uh, range, maybe, or pullback. How deep the pullback is, no one can tell. Siyempre tayo naman, ina-anticipate lang natin. So, we try to look for structures to form along those areas. And of course, siyempre, yung paborito ng lahat, mag-breakout lang. Diba? Wala nang konso-konso, tumuloy yung breakout, then we push even higher, and we go above and beyond. Now, Ang important sa ganitong situation na lagi ko pinapaalala, be sure lang na susundan nyo yung trail stop na ginagamit na kung anong mga system na ina-apply nyo. ba? Para kung sakali man na mangyari ang ayaw natin mangyari, hindi ganong kalaki ang ibabalik natin sa market. Okay? So, protect your gains. But otherwise, sa mga may hawak nito, congratulations. Ang lakas talaga ng move, no? Ang lakas ng move, tuloy-tuloy lang. So, congratulations to all of you. Okay? Uh, next, let's take a look at uh, Wilcon. So, Wilcon was recently announced na may include siya sa uh, index. Now, kung mapapansin nyo, hindi pa ako naglalagay ng level sa taas. And there's a reason for that. Kasi for me, technically speaking, isang move pa lang yan eh. So, in order for me to say na, ah, oh, sige, swing high na to, then we need to either pull back manang mas maayos. Kasi wala tayong previous data point eh. All-time high eh, di ba? So, since wala tayong previous data point, kailangan na mag-pull back ng maayos para masabi ko na, ah, o sige, ito yung swing high and we can put a level there. Or, uh, magkaroon ng mas firm na structure moving forward para masabi natin na, ah, o sige, pwede na to. Pwede na tong maging level. But as is, essentially, it's just one move, nagkaroon lang ng volatility, nagkaroon ng bentahan today. Okay? So, kung may hawak pa rin kayong mga, kung Wilcon, uh, again, syempre, number one, congrats kasi bigla siya nasali sa index. I know a lot of people were not expecting it. Ako, personally, I was very surprised. So, number one, be sure to honor your trail stop lang. Okay? Number two, ingat sa mga ganito malalaking, uh, I wanna say, kind of like doji shooting star type candles kapag ganito kalaki. Uh, minsan kasi nagiging blow off candle yung ganito eh. Hindi lagi. So, I'm not gonna say na hindi. Ano na, panic, sell, sell, okay, run. Hindi ako ganun mag-trade eh. Hindi rin ako ganun mag-analyze. It's always just reacting if price does certain things, no? But yun nga, konting caution lang in case na maging blow-off candle nga to. Okay? I know, marami na magsasabi, hindi, blow-off candle na yan kasi it's always, it always sounds smart kapag katama ka eh. But I've also seen yung mga ganito na hindi na tuloy eh. Naudlot, tumaas pa muna or umayos muna. Kumbaga mag-form ng better structure before it decides what it wants to do. So, hindi ko pa alam what's gonna happen in the case of Wilcon. Ang maganda, at least sama-sama tayo rito and we can all look at it together and learn from it together. ba? Add it to our experience para moving forward, it's something that we can add to our data set. Alright? So, um, again, ang pinaka-invalidation is break pa nito, sa totoo lang. Or, sabihin natin, um, uh, a more aggressive na ano area is a break below this a break below 27.8 okay honestly again mahirap sabihin na hintayin mo dito sa akang magano stop kahit na yan yung technical stop kasi nga ang layo na inabot ng price eh. okay so just be sure lang na i-honor niyo yung trail stops niyo para maprotektahan niyo yung gains niyo kahit papano kung sakali man the market decides to do what we don't want it to do Okay, but for now, let's wait and see what it, it what it is exactly that Wilcon eventually ends up doing. All right, so guys, um, paalala lang ulit. Uh, if you like these videos, if you find them educational or helpful or even mildly entertaining, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, it's one of the few ways that I can gauge kasi na talagang nakakatulong tong content natin sa inyo. Kasi yun naman talaga ang goal. Gusto ko magturo, pero gusto ko rin naman na yung tinuturo ko ay natutulong ako kayo. Alright? So, moving on, uh, let's take a look at PCOR. So, PCOR was a requested chart. Okay, ano ba nangyari sa PCOR, no? Uh, 
nag-range tayo dito from 3 to 3.2, then suddenly we broke out. Uh, this was because of yung sa rebalancing, no? We broke out. So, lo and behold, saan tumama yung price dito sa area of previous consolidation, tas doon tayo nakahanap ng temporary resistance. And right now, what it looks to be doing is we're looking to be consolidating within this area. Now, again, mahirap mag-assess ng ganito. Kasi, kunyari, let's say na ma-decide mo na pumasok ka dito sa area of consolidation na to in the hopes na it moves higher. Pero, resistance is right there. So even if you have a tight stop na ayaw mo nang bumaba pa lang siya sa range na yon, the risk reward isn't very ideal pa rin. Diba? Kasi it's right there. Yung resistance is right there. So ideally, what I would want to see, na sinabi ko sa DD before pero hindi lang natuloy, no? is magkaroon tayo ng ad proper pullback, maybe flag down, na parang ganito, okay? then break out from there, Mag-form lang tayo ng decent structure para lang masabi natin na, ah, okay, sige, mukhang may continuation na to. Plus, our risk reward will be much, much better even if mauntog ulit yung price dito sa resistance level na to. Either that, or we just wait for a breakout ng 3.8 area and then assess from there kung mukha nga bang tutuloy pa siya higher targeting the highs here, here, and here accordingly. What we don't want to see is for price to fall back really fast Okay, fall back really fast, come back into this area of consolidation, tas not even see this hold break down, then just come back to yung support here, forming some type of triple bottom. Now, while I would normally say na ito yung, technically speaking, technical support mo pa rin, okay, again, I'm not saying na ilagay nyo yung stop nyo dyan, to fall that far that fast, assuming ganun nga yung nangyari, is very rarely a good sign, no? So, konting ingat lang kung mangyari man yun. Alright? And then finally, let's take a look at ICT, which is also our requested chart. Ano nga ba nangyari sa ICT? So, this is not something that I've been personally tracking. Okay? Um, but, kung may hawak man kayo nito, of course, congratulations. Ang laki na inangat niya, no? From yung 90 plus, the before, around here, yeah. I remember I was able to trade it here, pero maaga ko nalabas. Hindi, it didn't trade. Hindi mo lang ako umabot dito sa 150 na area. I think nasa mga 120 lang yata or something. Nakalabas na ako. But that's neither here nor there, no? So, what are we looking at here? Price pushed up. Nag-form tayo ng resistance here. Then, nag-pull back tayo. Diba? So, may clear na pull back tayo. Where did we pull back to? Dito sa area of previous support. Ay, resistance here. That turned to support. So ideally, we, we want to see this area hold. <laughs> Kasi kung bumigay ito, tapos mag-hold yan, push up, hold, tapos mag-break, then what might happen is ma-revisit natin itong white zone dito sa baba. Okay? Itong white zone dito sa baba. And if that breaks too, then all the way hanggang dito sa 167 area. If mabasag pa rin yan, I think it's safe to say na at the very least, sa short term, medyo pumangit na yung bullish prospects nito. Kung bumalik tayo sa zone na to. I've kept this zone here not because I want price to come back here. I've kept it here because price has never revisited this area. And it will be interesting for me to see what it does if it comes back here. Not because it would look bullish if it pulled back all the way here. Okay, clear ba yun? So, iba yung usapan na kapag pumunta rito na baka magbigay siya ng magandang bounce opportunity or ng quick place rather than normal pullback tapos bullish continuation. So, for me, ayaw ko na sanang makita na mabasag niya itong zone na to. So, itong white zone hanggang dito sa 167.8. Ideally. Okay? Actually, ideally nga, wag na mabasag itong 185.6. Eh. Kung mag-hold to, mag-push tayo further, di ba, ma-break natin ulit dito. Try to push for new highs. Maybe we can target 213.6 again or even higher from there. Okay? So, yun yung mga bullish and bearish scenarios natin sa ICT. No? So, guys, if meron kayong mga chart requests moving forward, just feel free to post them in the comment section below or kung meron kayong mga tanong, I do take the time and make sure na nasasagot ko ang lahat or karamihan ng mga napopost doon. Okay, and as always guys, maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood. I really appreciate it. Good luck and happy trading.